Hi everyone, my name is Benjamin Fraley, and welcome to The Pit, a percussion block for percussionists, music educators, and ensemble directors. Today, I want to talk to you about xylophone mallets. As soon as we hear the word xylophone, we already have a pretty distinct sound in mind. But we don't want that sound to be the only sound at our disposal. So today, I want to talk to you about some xylophone mallets that you can have for your classroom, your band room, or your stick bag if you are looking for a good starting point for a varied selection of mallets and sounds. Before we get started, I want you to know that in the world of percussion, there are lots of great choices. I'll be giving you my recommendations based upon my preferences as a professional, but know that your comfort with a pair of mallets is very important too. Some of my most favorite xylophone mallets are in the Orchestral Series, the James Ross series, and the Christopher Lamb series made by Innovative Percussion. There are lots of great xylophone mallets out there, so today to keep things simple, we'll be talking about three pairs of xylophone mallets that will give you distinct timbres for different styles of music and also different ranges of the xylophone. The first pair of mallets that we'll be talking about are the OS1s from the Orchestral Series. The Orchestral Series is a set of nine mallets for xylophone and glockenspiel that were designed in conjunction with Chris Davini of the Philadelphia Orchestra. We're going to call this our soft mallet. So the OS1 has a medium hard rubber head and a rattan shaft. This helps give the sound a warmish tone and a medium soft attack. The second pair of mallets that we'll be looking at are the IP902s from the James Ross series. These mallets were made for Chicago Symphony Orchestra percussionist James Ross. We're going to refer to these as our medium mallets. The head of this mallet is a soft plastic and the shafts are made of rattan. So in comparison to our OS1 mallets, our soft mallets, these are going to sound a little bit brighter. The third pair of mallets we'll be talking about today are the IP905s from the James Ross series. We'll refer to this as our hard mallet. This mallet has a hard plastic head with a rattan shaft. Because the head is made of a hard plastic, it's going to be the most articulate and brightest of the three pairs of mallets we're talking about today. To give you an idea of what these mallets sound like in comparison, I'm going to play a short excerpt from Rainbow Ripples by George Hamilton Green. I'm going to use each pair of mallets in the low, middle, and high range of this 3.5 octave atom xylophone. Listen for the differences and which mallets you think sound best in each range. Well, there you have it. A good place to start for the beginning of your xylophone mallet collection. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Pit. Make sure you hit subscribe for this channel to see more helpful percussion videos in the future for percussionists, music educators, and instrumental ensemble directors. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, and if you'd like to get in contact with me, you can do so through my website at benjaminfraleypercussion.com.